Hey, it's uh, Tidepool Tim here, and uh, today we're going to look at uh, high tide and low tide. And uh, what I plan to do is to post two videos on YouTube. I know you guys, uh, you've heard your teachers talk about high and low tide. And uh, what you're looking out on right here is uh, a local bay we call Sips Bay. And uh, it's low tide right now. It's uh, maybe uh, 7.30 in the morning. It's uh, beginning of September here. And you can see behind me here that there's a little bit of a, of a uh, estuary where a freshwater stream is running down into the ocean. We'll talk about estuaries later, but today we're going to just uh, try and show you the difference between high tide and low tide. So in about six hours, this entire area will be full of water. And what I've done is I'm standing in one place here on the bay, uh, Sips Bay, and what I'm doing with my feet, if you hear this sound, is I'm marking my footprints where I'm standing, and there's one of my sandals and my other sandal, and we're looking straight out onto the bay. So I will come back here in six hours, and I will uh, put another video up on YouTube for you guys to uh, see the difference between high and low tide. Now, if you look down in the uh, where the, the stream is running out, you'll see some rockweed. Uh, it could be knotted rack, which is one type of rockweed, ascophyllum, or it could be fucus, which is a bladder rack. Um, and if you go out through this little... Uh, uh, mud flat, as uh, or clam flat, as some people call it. You'll find soft shell clams. You'll find sandworms, bloodworms, little types of uh, amphipods, mummy chugs. You see this little uh, little uh, pond here at the, up in the in the marsh grass. That's full of a tiny little fish, uh, fundulus. If you look that up, Google up fundulus. That's the uh, genus for uh, a small fish called a uh, mummy chog, and they're related to things like uh, killifish. They're a pretty interesting fish that can tolerate living both in the salt water and in the fresh water. And so when the tide comes in, their little, that little pond will flood and it will be totally a salt water environment. But in the springtime, when there's a lot of rain or in the winter, this pond uh, becomes a, a more freshwater environment. And somehow these, these amazing little fish can survive in both. And uh, they feed in when all of this grass, all of this seaweed is all flooded with the incoming tide. They go in between... Uh, that vegetation and feed on uh, little worms and plant well not plants but little uh, uh, shrimp uh, crustaceans arthropods that sort of thing so uh, tune back in in six hours to see what Sips Bay looks like at high tide thanks it's Tidepool Tim talk to you soon